Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to re troubleshoot codes on a Dodge. Uh, this applies to Dodge Chrysler vehicles and any other uh, Fiat and Chrysler Group vehicles. But uh, here we have a 2022 Dodge Charger, and we're going to go through um, read all the codes from all the control modules and everything that's in this vehicle. So if you start here at the home screen, you can select that. You can go to Dodge, and then what you could do here, you could uh, oh, you can select here or you can do with a smart pin, but we're gonna go the long route just to show you uh, how you can do this manually. And 2022, and then this is a charger. So as you can see here, we have coverage for all uh, Doge and Chrysler vehicles um, and other makes as well. Now you're gonna get this warning here and we'll explain this more details, but in any Doge and Chrysler Fiat vehicle that's 2018 and newer uh, the manufacturer Doge has um, installed what's called a security gateway module and it prevents diagnostic tools from fully diagnosing the vehicle so you can actually read codes and you can look at live data with this from all the different control modules but what you cannot do is you cannot clear the codes you can um, you cannot do any bidirectional testing like where you test sensors and motors and things of that nature um, the only there's a few ways to get around that well the first one you have to go to the dealer uh, i'm sure that's the manufacturer's preferred way um the second method is you use this um, chrysler 12 plus 8 adapter so that um basically instead of connecting the scanner to the obd2 port under the dash where we're connected right now you connect it to that security uh, gateway module that's in most cases is going to be under the center uh under the, behind the radio there or sometimes it's uh, up under the dash down here but you gotta locate where it's on your car and then you uh, plug unplug the security gateway module and you plug this cable to those two cables that come to it and then you connect the scanner to that cable and then you have full um, access to the vehicle and you can clear the codes and do everything you need to do uh, but unless you do that you, you're gonna see codes but you won't be able to clear them uh, the other the third method is uh, you can register the scanners. Uh, Chrysler Jeep has set up a, a page where you can go register the scanner and then you have to pay a subscription though uh, to the manufacturer, to Dodge and Chrysler, $50 a year. That's currently what it is right now. And then they allow your scanner to access the car. But um, uh, the, the easiest way is to just get the cable that we uh, showed you earlier. And if you're using that, you know, adapter cable that connects to the security gateway module you don't need no subscription you don't need anything it's a way to bypass it so you can diagnose your own vehicle without having to pay a yearly fee for being able to diagnose your own vehicle so with that said let's go do a quick scan this is going to go through all the control modules on this car um, and then we're going to see how many this car has and uh, we're going to enter some of them and see what we can do So this is going to take a few minutes to go through all the systems and it's telling us what codes. What we can do is we can click this arrow that tells us the code and then, or we can click right there and it takes us into that control module. We enter that control module and we can do more things. We can look at live data that apply to that control module or any of them. And even if they don't have codes, you can still select them, enter them and look at live data. So as here, you can see all the different control modules Quite a few of them close to 20 security and this is security gateway module is what basically prevents you from clearing codes and doing bidirectional tests so let's click on report real quick and scroll to the bottom and then at the bottom here you get a list of the codes right low beam control short circuit and uh, this is an active code so that's got to be addressed this is stored an issue in the past that usually you can clear store codes and this is another uh, park sensor 11 um, a uh, malfunction at some point but it's currently not malfunction you can see the code is stored so the problem is if i go back here if i hit erase i wouldn't be able to erase these codes that are present even the ones that show us stored um if it's 2018 and, and older so if it, it was 2015 Dodge and chrysler then you'll be able to do this um but if it's if it's 2018 or newer then you can't without either registering the scanner or using a bypass cable to um to connect to bypass this, this security gateway module and then you can you can um basically do 
any of the clearing and the testing. So now keep in mind, this is only a uh, Doge and Chrysler uh, limitation and it's uh, just a way of manufacturers are trying to you know, control how you um, how you diagnose your own, own vehicles. But here I entered the engine control unit. In this case, it's called powertrain control module. Some makes will call it engine control unit. But you can read codes. No codes are found. If there weren't, you would normally clear them. But if you are simply connected to OBD2 port like I am right now, I still wouldn't be able to clear up live data. We can see live data. And here we can see live data. We can see data from my sensor, a number of sensor voltages, engine RPMs, idle speed. And, uh, a lot of now this data live data that we see here is data that's sent to the engine control unit or in this case it's called powertrain control module but uh, you can see o2 data but if we connect to the transmission control unit we should be able to see data that's being uh, collected by the engine control unit which is going to be slightly different than what you see uh, here in this in this screen uh, same thing if you go to airbag control module you're going to see something different for the live data and so on. there's a lot of data in here. I'm still gonna go really fast through this list. And we don't have time to go through each one of those. There's so many data points here and you can graph any of this if you want. And um, you can see the values in units. So I'll go back here. So here we have active tests. Now here's the problem because we have not bypassed the security gateway module using the, the cable that I mentioned earlier. We won't be able to turn off injectors on and off. We can't turn AC compressor relay on and off. We can't do any of these tests without bypassing that security gateway module uh, that we mentioned earlier. Uh, but you can read things, but you can't activate, you can't clear. So yeah, here for example, we we'll go transmission control module. The same thing, uh, there were no codes. If there were, you'd have to to clear them but only if they're in stored first they need to be in store status to clear them and second you have to bypass security uh, gateway module if you have a 2018 or newer Dodge Chrysler Fiat Jeep any of FCA group or Fiat Chrysler automotive group vehicle but if you go to live data here for example we're going to see that the data that we're seeing in the transmission control unit is going to be different we're going to see things like the uh, transmission oil temperature and things uh, things like that so select all press ok and then you can see the data the shift solenoid values and you can see that again if we go back here we can enter the ABS control module for example here you can read clear codes if you bypass this uh, security gateway module you can look at all these wheel speed sensor data if you were to drive or move the vehicle those values will change and there's a lot of data that's being collected and shown in this screen steering angle sensor and so on so let's go back here keep in mind active tests if you want to run the ABS these tests right here you can run them if you're simply connected to the OBD2 port under the dash but again if you bypass the security module then you can run those active tests in here same thing with under maintenance there's a number of reset functions you can't carry those you can't complete those without bypassing the secu this uh, security gateway model that we see here. So that's it. That's how you would um, diagnose a Dodge a vehicle. And uh, thank you for watching. You can, or you can be the mechanic.